All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. We have the all-star break for the MLB, but you know what? We're not taking a break. We have an MLB Home Run Derby 2024 video for you today. I have four guys um, that I like in the Home Run Derby. I'm going to give you their winning odds, and I'll probably sprinkle on that myself. But uh, honestly, you can take whatever information we look at here in today's video and kind of do whatever you want with it. You know, head-to-head -head totals or will they get out of the first round, blah, 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 that type of thing. But yeah, we're going to go over four guys. There's eight participants, and I really only am considering half of the field here. The good news is, is if you take all four of these guys and even one of them hits, uh, you do end up making profit either way. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. And actually, before we jump into it, um, annoyingly enough, before we uh, uh, talk about some home runs, let's talk about one home run from last night. Uh, this is our last night of games of an MLB slate before the All-Star break, right? And we went five and one last night. J.P. Crawford, already 0 for 2. We just needed under one and a half bases, and he got the home run derby started early. He had a home run. It was a bummer. 5-1 and one night we'll take, but we almost headed in to the All-Star break with a nice little sweep. But we've been on fire in July nonetheless. But let's go ahead and jump in here, guys. Uh, we'll talk about the Home Run Derby. And then, like I said, I have four players that I'm definitely considering here. These are the participants. We have Pete Alonso, Alec Baum. Garcia, Henderson, uh, Tescar Hernandez, we have Marcelo Zunia, uh, Jose Ramirez, and then Bobby Witt Jr. A uh, couple things that I'll look at in this spot we'll call out. I'm really looking at bat speed, um, I guess launch angle percentage, hard hit percentage, barrel percent, that type of thing. So those are really what we ended up focusing on here. Um, but how these guys are trending, this is the last 14 days of play. I have it filtered to home run. You can see Ozunia, Witt, Alonzo, and Henderson um, kind of leading the way here in terms of home runs in the last 14 days. Uh, Ozunia definitely out to the races uh these last four hernandez garcia bohm and ramirez not looking so hot but uh let's jump into each and every player i'll kind of give you those stats exactly what i looked at um and what i might think of it and then at the end of this video i will be giving you guys exactly uh the four guys that i'm liking in this spot so let's start off with pd all right so here we go we're over on baseball savant really really great site gives it very very simply um those stats we're looking at so bat speed 91st percentile hard hit percentage um not all that great, 56th percentile, barrel percentage, 81, and then launch angle sweet spot. Uh, launch angle sweet spot can be defined as right here, 8 to 32 degrees, um, kind of where the middle of the bat and the perfect launch angle is. A lot of guys in home run derbies are going to want to lean more towards this upper range, but just so you guys know what that means overall. And then what we'll do is we'll fly down here and look at where they're in the Texas ballpark today, where their home runs would be if they played in Texas every game of the year. He has 19 home runs on the season, uh, 19 also in Texas. So this ballpark, it's not like he's going to hit more or less than what he's done all year long. The thing with Alonzo is he's going to uh, probably go into this as if it's like a regular season, or honestly, more than a regular season game. The dude loves to win the home run derby. He's going to take it seriously every single time. So um, definitely some someone that's worth considering. Um, he is honestly one of those four in there. So I'll just tell you guys as we go. The next player up, and we're just going to go in the order again of what we're here as we share our screen. Um, Alex Baum, I di wasn't all that thrilled with what we're seeing um, from his numbers here. I mean, yes, you could say hard hit percentage and launch angle sweet spot percentage are great. I mean, look at Alonzo, right? Like those are not all that great compared. Um, but what I'll say is barrel percent. Like you don't want a guy that's, uh, you know, at a 54, uh, it's an 8.3% barrel percent, but a 54 percentile in the league in the home run derby uh, due to that and honestly if we scroll down here and look at his home runs he has only 11 on the season he would have less if he played every game in Texas and if we look at Boehm he only has one home run in his last um, you know 14 days of play in his last 12 plate appearances which isn't terrible like uh, or not plate appearances 12 games isn't app isn't terrible but these are home run guys we're talking about so I honestly kind of sort of scratched Boehm from the list fairly quickly um, his odds are obviously very very high as well so it's not exactly like um, I'm doing anything crazy here. I'm just fading one of the underdogs. Um, one of the guys that I've seen a lot of people on, I'm actually not exactly thrilled with. It's going to be Adolis Garcia here. Uh, he hasn't been hitting the home runs like we'd like to see. Obviously, a guy that can hit many, many home runs. Don't get me wrong. Um, the bat speed isn't all that crazy. His barrel percentage is great. Hard hit percentage is great. Launch angle, um, excuse me, launch angle sweet spot percentage, kind of middle of the pack there. And obviously, if we look at his uh, stadiums, it's going to be pretty similar because he's playing half of his games in Texas. He has 17 on the year, would have 17 if he played every single game in Texas here. So to be honest, his price just didn't exactly make sense for me. Uh, so I'm not exactly all over um, Dallas Garcia. Gunnar Henderson is a guy that I'm 
thinking about Sprinkle on here. He's the highest bat speed in the entire home run derby at 75.8. Obviously, these guys are all pretty damn high, but he has the highest. And look at the barrel percentage, hard hit percentage, all in the 90 plus percentile. Launch angle sweet spot, a little questionable there. However, if we look at his home runs, 28 home runs uh, on the season, 23 would be in Texas. So he's definitely not in a favorable ballpark. But I don't think you can fade the guy with the highest bat speed in the entire, uh, you know, tournament or what did you call it? derby right so i'm kind of i'm kind of liking that and obviously all of these these reds are just like in your face like yeah he should be able to hit some uh dingers today so gunner henderson is definitely someone uh worth consideration Tescar hernandez uh faded him right away i just don't necessarily love it um i already showed i think he has yeah one home run in his last uh 52 plate appearances um and overall the the launch angle necessarily uh not there for me overall you can see he has a 9.2 launch angle on the season so yeah, great player, but I'm just not really uh, looking forward to, to putting money on him. If we go from a ballpark perspective, his 19 home runs on the season, he would have 17 in Texas. So didn't really check many boxes. Now, Ozuna, maybe my favorite guy here um, for the home run derby. And, and depending on what sports book you get him at, he's, you know, the third or fourth favorite, second on a lot of books. But uh, what I like is here, barrel, hard hit, and then the launch angle sweet spot, all crazy in the 98 and 97 percentile of the MLB. His bat speed, a little bit low at 83, but I don't think we necessarily have to worry about the launch angle at about 16%. Don't mind that whatsoever either. And he has the launch angle sweet spot, percent, sweet spot percentage is literally the best it's been in his entire career at 42.4 so I love to see that and then I love it even more we scroll down and look at his uh you know his stadiums right 26 home runs on the year he would have 27 if he played every game in globe light stadium so uh, I do think that this could be a nice little spot for Ozuna but very important what book you get him at we'll talk about that in a little bit now Jose Ramirez um I think this guy is an an I, this is, I think he's an in-game home run hitter, if that makes sense. And I love J-Ram, but not for a home run derby for me. You can even see bat speed, barrel, hard hit, launch angle, sweet spot. Not all that tremendous. We look at it from a stadium perspective, you know, 23 home runs on the year, 23 in Texas. But to me, again, he's the type of guy that's going to hit your curveball yard or hit your, you know, slider yard. Just such a good hitter. I don't know about a, you know, a home run derby type of a guy. And even when he was, I forget what year it is, but I didn't get a first round exit in the home run derby. I believe he was injured. But nonetheless, um, believe me when I say I'm fading Jose, it's not because I'm fading the baseball player. I'm fading the, the type of player for the home run derby. And then uh, another guy I'm not minding, like look at all this right up here, bat speed, barrel, hard hit, even his launch angle sweet spot up to 65 percentile in the MLB. We got Bobby Witt Jr., I do think has a favorable spot here in this one. He has 16 home runs on the year. You're probably like, that's not all that great, right? But if he was playing in Texas, uh, the Globe Life Stadium here, he would have 21 home runs. And let's flash back to here. He's got four in his last 48 plate appearances um, and in his last 11 games. So Bobby Wood Jr., definitely a guy that I would say is uh, for sure worth considering. So again, I have four guys I like, probably tipped my hand there, but um, we also have a 50% boost over on DraftKings. Uh, if you guys do want to sign up for DraftKings, definitely go and check it out. Actually, I have a sign-up deal for you guys in the description as well as the pinned comment. You get bet five bucks and get 150 bucks instantly, up to 150 bucks uh, instantly. Actually, it might even be just full 150. And if you're in some other states, you're gonna get 300 bucks as well. So it's obviously dependent on the state. But go check out DraftKings. Again, they have the 50% boost, which is super important as to what we're gonna dig into in just a second. And you get this deal today. That link is gonna be in the pinned comment and the description. But all right, let's go through it. So first off, we have Pete Alonso uh, taking. His him as a winner so he's plus 320 on DraftKings but that 50% boost you can get him up to uh, I want to say it was 480 so there you go obviously you take the favorite in this one and all of a sudden we have maybe the best odds out of almost anyone that we're considering here so go use that 50% boost over on Alonzo whether you're signing up today with the link in the pinned comment or if you already have a DK account you should get that as well um, I like him again just because he takes this thing so seriously like that is going to be uh, the main reasoning and rationale behind this pick he doesn't have the best launching in fact he's down from last year um, obviously he's had not the he kind of shows up in weird spots during the season but again 
again, this is Pete Alonso in the home run derby. I'll take the favorite and add on, uh, you know, that 50% boost for a 480 uh, price tag. Then I'm going to move on to probably what I would say is actually my favorite. Um, and for this price at 475 over on Caesars, you can't beat it. Looking at uh, Marcel Ozuna here, he almost checks every box for me um, in terms of what we're looking at from this uh, home run derby. So I love to see that. And honestly, for this price, like he's 425 over on DraftKings. On MGM, he's around 425. Same thing FanDuel, same thing um, ESPN. And then Caesars has him at 475. So very much mispriced, if you ask me. And then we're looking at uh, Gunnar Henderson. Again, 475. I think those odds are worth it. He's a little bit, uh, you know, worse. On FanDuel, I think he's like 400. On uh, Caesars, he's like 375. So DraftKings has some good odds here for Gunnar. And though I don't necessarily expect this one to hit, I got to have him in the, the bag today because he has that fastest bat speed um, and whatnot in this derby. And I'd hate to fade that. And then I guess you could say long shot esque guy, Bobby Witt Jr. But obviously all of these guys are around the same level. Like we're looking at some of the, the I would say the top four out of the, the eight here. But the way we play with that, um, you know, Pete Alonzo promo is that if any of these guys win the home run derby, we're already taking 50% of the field. If any of these guys win, and I believe they got the four best, um, we do end up. Uh, getting some profit there. So Bobby Wood Jr., uh, he obviously, you know, is, is looking good heading into this um, overall second in the list in terms of home runs in the last 14 days. So I like the spot for him as well. And guys, that is going to wrap it up just to flash through what we have here. Bobby, uh, Pete Alonso, Gunnar Henderson, Ozuna, and then we have Witt jr there as well uh yeah let me know what you guys think of the home run derby video obviously i kind of just walked you through my process that we did beforehand versus just kind of presenting you uh you know to you what i'm rolling with so let me know what you guys think of that in the comments go ahead and comment 11 if you made it this far into the video and then last but not least again go check check out DraftKings, guys seriously that link will be in the pinned comment you're gonna get a great deal bet five bucks get 150 dollars in bonus bets yeah instantly right um and if you live and i think it's i want to say let's see if i can check that for you guys real quick if you live in um iowa illinois louisiana michigan north carolina new jersey ohio pennsylvania vermont um wyoming you're gonna get 300 dollars instantly so there's some specific states that have a better deal there as well so go ahead and check that out guys that link will be in the pinned comment and yeah we got the home run derby 2024 let's uh let's try and cash at least one of these uh we can only cash one of them right but let's cash at least one of these and make some profit but you know if you guys have any other bets let me know in the comments like those head-to-head -head bets or anything like that we're keeping it simple for this one but uh, yeah that's all i got for you guys in today's video catch guys the next right peace out